never lose your photos. What's up? This is John from John Branch for Photography and today I want to talk about the absolute most important part of wedding photography, which is backing up your files. So when you have clients paying you two, three, four, even five thousand dollars, you need to take the backup of their photos extremely serious. Like I said, this is number one on my list of what you really need to do on a wedding day. So let's go ahead and walk through my whole backup process just to give you an idea of how seriously I take it and maybe give you some tips to help you back up your own files. So starting on the day of, we have to start with our camera. Make sure you're shooting with a camera that has dual card slots. If you're not shooting on a camera with dual card slots, you run the risk of one of your SD cards corrupting and then all the files are gone. So you can see here on my X-T2, I have two card slots and then in my save system, I'm able to set it to shoot to backup, not just sequential. So sequential is when you're shooting to one card and then the next card after that, whereas backup is gonna be writing every photo you take to both cards. So wedding day, dual card slots, shoot and backup. I already have two copies now. The next step, I use the My Passport Wireless Pro. And if you haven't checked out my video of that, check it out here and in the description below. But this little hard drive has an SD card slot on it. So basically when I get back to my hotel when I'm traveling or while I'm driving home if I'm more local, I'll just take out one of the SD cards, pop it into My Passport Wireless Pro and then basically back it up right there. This little hard drive will immediately make a backup of the SD card and it does not erase the SD card. It just makes a nice backup. I have a four terabyte version, so I can backup as many weddings as I want to. And at that point now, I have three copies of the wedding, two SD card slots and one on my My Passport Wireless Pro. If I'm traveling, what I tend to do, because I'm extra paranoid, is I take one SD card and keep it on my body. So literally I have to die to lose your photos. My second SD card stays in the camera, which is on my carry-on bag. So I have that bag with me. And then my third copy stays on the My Passport Wireless Pro, which will go into my checked bag. So I have three copies. So if I lose my bag, I still have a copy. If I lose my carry-on bag, I still have a copy. So seriously, seriously make sure you have backups. The next step after that is when I get home. So when I get home, I immediately start importing my photos. This makes two extra backups for me because while I'm importing in Lightroom, I choose to backup to another location as well. So not only am I importing on my main drive, but I'm also importing to another drive that I have on my computer. So two copies right there, a backup copy and then my working copy. So now at this point, I have like five copies, one on the My Passport Wireless Pro, two on my SD cards, and then two on my computer. And last but not least is the most important part, but I use Backblaze to actually back up all my files to the cloud. So Backblaze, if you do not have it, you really, 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 really need to get it. I cannot tell you how many times Backblaze has saved me from the dumbest situations. For example, I by accident deleted a whole wedding off of my hard drive one time and Backblaze had it backed up in the cloud. So the way Backblaze works is it just continually backs up all your stuff to their cloud and it's only five bucks a month per computer. It's super, 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 super cheap. So there's no reason not to do it. Now the files that get backed up to the cloud, you can always restore them at any time. But the best thing is that if for some reason you're backing up like terabytes of information like I am, they have a system where they'll ship you a hard drive for like 200 bucks. And then from there, you'll be able to restore your information, but you're able to return the hard drive. So you don't even have to spend the 200 bucks. I actually did it recently because I had a hard drive fail on me. So you'll see here, this is one of the Backblaze hard drives, and then this is the box it came in. So now I can just send it back to them. Now that I have my whole about 700 gigs, I think it was, that just totally fell from the hard drive. So it's backed up. The cool thing is too, you can back up multiple hard drives. So my custom made PC has like four hard drives in it, and I'm able to tell Backblaze, hey, back up this drive, that drive, the other drive, all the drives. So I know I have my backups backed up, and I have my main working space backed up. So I have multiple ways that my photos are always, always backed up. If you don't know about Backblaze, you need to get on it now. I actually have a link in the description to give you a free month when you sign up. It's five bucks a month. If you're doing serious photo work, like seriously, you need to sign up right now. So that was a quick look at my backup process. I hope that helped you out a little bit. 
because I'm sorry, like backing up your files is the most important thing you can do for yourself. Just remember to go over it again, dual card slots, back it up to an external source like the My Passport Wireless Pro. When you import in Lightroom, back it up to multiple locations, don't just import. And then after that, get Backblaze to save it to the cloud. Once again, thanks for hanging out. I hope you like what you saw. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs and I'll be with y'all next time with more information. All right.